Comes this new data from the CDC showing people who are not vaccinated against COVID-19 are 11 times more likely to die or 10 times more likely to become hospitalized with the virus. ABC 4's Haley Hendricks looking into this data here in Utah for us. She joins us now live in Salt Lake City with more on what she found. Haley. Well, Glenn, local doctors tell me the CDC's data reflects hospitalizations and death rates here in Utah, but now the virus seems to be impacting younger populations compared to last year. Data from the Utah Department of Health shows throughout the pandemic, coronavirus hospitalizations and deaths are highest in Utahns older than 65, with vaccination rates now greater than 80 percent for seniors. Doctors say the age of those hospitalized and died from the virus is getting younger. And that's why we are seeing fewer of them in the hospital or in the ICU and why where you have lower vaccination rates among younger folks, they're being admitted when they're unvaccinated. COVID-19 has claimed the lives of more than 2,700 Utahns. 719 of those people were 25 to 64. Of the family members saying, I wish I had convinced my wife or husband or my loved ones to get vaccinated. And I wish I can turn the clock back. Nationally, the CDC predicts by October up to 18,000 more people could die from the virus. Data shows the needle continues to move here in Utah, and doctors hope those who have not yet received the shot will reconsider. Nearly nine months later, and the world has administered hundreds of millions of these uh, now very effective, very safe vaccines. Looking at what happened with our older age groups, once they got vaccinated, the rate of hospitalization and mortality is much lower. Well, doctors say while vaccination prevents a majority of, contract of people from contracting severe COVID, they say antibody treatments are also helping some who are at high risk of developing severe complications. Reporting live in Salt Lake City, Haley Hendricks, ABC4 News. Thank you, Haley.